Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to build a hard keepsake box with a removable lid for today's Lego brick tutorial. First, let's start with a 2x3 plate. Let's set down a pair of 2x2 two two inverted 45 degree slopes, followed by another pair of 2x2 two two 45 degree slopes, and I'm going to slip in a 2x2 two two plate on the bottom portion and finish up this row with a set of 1x2 inverted 45 degree slopes. Now for the second layer I want to add a row of bricks so I'm going to start in the back with a 1x2 brick and a 2x4 brick to lock this whole area together and we're going to start in the back with a set of 1x2 inverted 45 degree slopes and in the remaining area four 2x2 two two inverted 45 degree slopes. And don't worry, we'll be speed building through most of this. <laughs> I set my base on a 16 by 16 stud plate. This is not going to be part of the tutorial. I just decided to use this for stability purposes. So now in the back, I'm going to set down a 1 by 4 brick. And in the center, a set of 2 by 4 45 degree slopes. Now I want to proceed on with inverted 45 degree slopes. I'm going to start with a pair of 2 by 2s Now you want to make sure your joints overlap. This will keep everything locked and secure. So I'm going to place two on each side and finish up the remaining area with a pair of 1 by 2 inverted 45 degree slopes. And yes, you may have to muscle these down. Now I'm just going to continue on a few more rows. Now I want to start building up a few bricks on the sides, so I'm going to start in the back. And we're going to set down five 1 by 4 bricks. So you got to skip through all the building process and just watch me speed build it. It makes things a lot faster. Now we're going to set down a pair of 2 by 4 bricks in these areas. Now, what I want to do is I want to add a ribbon on the sides. This white plate at the bottom is already a ribbon, but I need to put something on the sides here. So I'm going to set down a pair of 1x2 bricks with two studs on one side. Place these here, and another set right here. I'm going to use these to attach some plates for a ribbon. Now we're going to start with the next row with a 1x6 brick. And I want to surround that with a set of 1x4 bricks. And it is very important that all your joints overlap one another because this bill will get pretty brittle. Now I want to proceed on with four 2x3 two bricks, two on each side, and in the remaining areas a set of 1x3 bricks. Now I want to start wrapping up the top of the heart. So I'm going to start on the top left with a 1x2 45 degree slope. And I'm going to proceed on with several 1x4 bricks. Start this row. And in this area, a 1x2 45 degree slope. Now I want to finish up the contour inside, so I'm going to take a set of 2x2 two two inverted 45 degree slopes, place two on the left and two on the right. This will finish up the box real nice. And in the last two areas, a set of 2x4 two 45 degree slopes. Now we're going to continue on with another 1x2. 45 degree slope and a 1 by 6 brick. Now what you want to do is you want to skip two studs here and we're going to proceed on with another 1 by 6 brick and a 1 by 2 45 degree slope. And then we're just going to finish off this level here and in here I'm just going to use a 1 by 2 
2 by 2 and 1 by 2 inverted 45 degree slopes. Same thing on this side here. I'm going to set in a 2 by 4 slope. Now you see why I have that base plate at the bottom. This thing gets pretty rickety. And we're going to proceed on with A set of 1x2 and a 2x2 two two inverted 45 degree slopes to finish up this side. For the upper center portion of the heart box, start with a 4x4 four four plate, set down a 2x4 brick and a 1x2 brick in the center. On the sides, we're going to start with a set of 1x2 inverted 45 degree slopes and we're going to proceed on with a pair of 2x2 two two inverted 45 degree slopes and we're going to wrap it up with more inverted 1 by 2 45 degree slopes. Now in the center, two 2 by 4 45 degree slopes. Just like that. Now let's set our assembly right in the 1 by 2 opening. And we're going to proceed on with a pair of 1 by 2 45 degree slopes. To continue our contour, I'm going to proceed on with a pair of 1 by 4 bricks and place several 2 by 4 bricks in these openings. Now you want to hold underneath here to support the inverted slopes. See how this one's starting to buckle here? That's Got to be very careful. See, I'm fighting that right there, and no, I'm not going to censor that out like some do. <laughs> See, sometimes these are very important to show where to hold underneath to give it extra support. And then we're going to finish it off with a pair of 1 by 2 45 degree slopes and two 2 by 4 45 degree slopes finish up these two areas. Now let's wrap up our heart shaped box with our final row of bricks starting with a set of 2 by 4 45 degree slopes and we're going to proceed on with a pair of 1 by 2 bricks and two more 2 by 4 45 degree slopes. See how I'm struggling? I also got to make sure these bricks are lined up too. Sometimes you just have to wiggle it in and don't force them down. Sometimes it does cause fractures in your bricks, so you don't want to just force those in. Because bad things may happen. And then we're going to wrap this up here in the front with a set of 1 by 2 bricks and four 1 by 2 45 degree slopes. Finally, let's flat tile off this area with a set of 1x4 flat tiles and four 2x4 flat tiles. Yes, it's hollow under there. We don't need to be filling that area in with brick. And there is the base of our heart-shaped box. Now on the sides, we're going to start setting down some plates on our bricks with studs. So we're going to set a 2 by 3 and a 2 by 2 plate there. Same thing on this side. A 2 by 3 and 2 by 2 plates. Now for the removable lid, start with a 2 by 2 plate. Set down a pair of 2 by 2 inverted 45 degree slopes. I'm going to lock these together with a pair of 1 by 2 bricks and a set of inverted 2 by 2 45 degree slopes. Just like in the previous clip I have my heart box sitting on a plate for stability purposes for the tutorial but I'm going to proceed on with a set of 1 by 2 45 degree slopes. Now on the front I want to place a 1 by 2 brick with two studs on the front 
and a set of one by one bricks. Now these studs are going to be used to add a ribbon to the front of the box. And in the remaining area, a set of two by two inverted 45 degree slopes. Let's continue up several rows. All right, now I want to set down a one by two brick right here. Now I want to have my ribbon go in this way. So I'm going to set down a few one by two bricks with two studs. Let's place two on the left and two on the right. And yes, this plate does help out a bunch, <laughs> keep everything stable. I want my lid to lock into the container, so I'm going to take a few 1x2x2 corner bricks. I'm going to place them in these areas. These are going to be used to grab inside the box to keep the lid from falling off. And then we're going to proceed on with a set of 1x2 bricks and another set of 1x2 bricks with two studs. Now on the sides, I'm going to set down one by one brick and a one by two brick with two studs. This is just going to aid in the ribbon to wrap around. We're going to do the same thing on this side with another one by one brick and a one by two brick with two studs. Now let's start on the left with a two by three brick and here we're going to set down a 1x2 brick, another 1x2 brick on this side. And we're going to fill in the remaining areas with a few 1x4s and a 1x6 brick. And finish up this level, a 2x3 brick. Now for our next row, I'm going to go back to our normal depth, starting with a set of one by two bricks. So it's going to look like this on the inside. We'll set a two by two 45 degree slope right there. And we're going to proceed on with four one by four bricks. Yes, we have been using a lot of red bricks in this project. Probably the most I've ever used in any single project. And let's wrap this up with a 2x2 two two 45 degree slope. I want to finish up the interior with a set of 1x2 inverted 45 degree slopes. Kind of match up the interior of the box. And a 1x2 brick with two studs. And we're going to surround that with a pair of 1x6 bricks. And finish off the two remaining areas with a pair of 2 by 2 45 degree slopes. Okay, now we're going to proceed on one more level here with a 2 by 2 45 degree slope and a 2 by 4 brick. Now I want to bring my contour back down, so I'm going to set a 2 by 2 45 degree slope there. And we're going to continue on with another 2x2 two two 45 degree slope, 2x4 two brick, and one more 2x2 two two 45 degree slopes. Did I forget to mention that this project uses a lot of 45 degree slopes? And finally, our last row of bricks for the lid. So we're going to start back here with, you guessed it, another 2x2 two two 45 degree slope. And then what I want to do is stick two one by two bricks there, and then we're just going to crown off this side here with another two by two 45 degree slope. Same thing on this side. So it's just basically the same thing with another set of two by two 45 degree slopes and two one by two. And we're going to smooth tile these off with a pair of 2x4 flat tiles. Now for the interior, I want to finish up this area. This doesn't look too nice. Take a 1x4 plate. Let's place a 1x2 brick right in the center. And we're going to set down a set of 1x2 inverted 45 degree slopes. 
we're going to slide that right up under there to finish up the interior of the lid. Now let's attach our ribbon to our lid. So here I have a 2x16 plate. As you can see, the bricks with studs line up perfectly. We're just going to set that down like so. Just be sure to hold underneath. And on both sides, a set of 2x3 plates. Followed by a pair of 2x6 plates. Now on the sides, I'm going to place a set of 2x2 two two plates on the bricks with studs. Finally for our little bow, start with a 2x4 plate, set down a 2x2 two two inverted 45 degree slope, and I'm going to set down a pair of 2x3 two inverted 25 degree slopes, and a 2x2 two two inverted 45 degree slope in that area. Now I want to finish off the top of my bow with four 2x3 25 degree slopes. Set those right there. And I want to finish off those studs with a 2x4 flat tile. Now let's set our bow in this area. So I'm going to skip two studs and place it down like so. Be sure to hold underneath and really push that down. Now if everything went well, the lid should fit right inside our box. As you can see, it doesn't move around. That's what it looks like underneath, all complete. Locks in these areas. It's a nice little keepsake box. You can put candy in there or some jewelry. Just don't put a real heart.